Now if you're going to gather some water, you can obviously just take some water from the river system and uh, you'll be just fine. But if you find a spot like this, where you've got an actual little spring creek running from up the mountain here, you might as well grab water from this because it's going to be more pure and more fresh for you than the water out in the main river system here. Okay, we're here with another camping for two, and this time we're out on the boat, and uh, just going to kind of describe what we would do if we took the boat out and uh, wanted to cook a little meal on the shoreline here, because we usually go out and we go fishing, and uh, sometimes we come out to just enjoy the day and maybe catch some fish and cook them up. You do that, you cook them up, get yourself a nice stainless steel pot like this, or you can have your iron skillets if you bring those out. I uh, always have some beans on me. I'm sure you all know that by now. And then I always lay my deer hide down to keep everything off the ground for me. And we brought some chairs to just relax. Got a nice little bunch of shale and slate laid up over here. Has a nice backstop to it, perfect for cooking. And then I took some logs and cut some logs to lay on here to make myself a grate to keep my pots up off the fire. Okay, and what you want to do before you do this so you don't have to get a whole bunch of firewood is prep your food first. Get everything ready. You know, we got some, some noodles here we're going to make. So we're going to want to dump those in. Cook them up. We're going to get them all ready. And uh, then we're going to, uh, you know, get all the ingredients in there. We got our beans ready. And I'm making tea again. And you want to just get all that ready first and then start your fire. Got that water up there. I showed you that. And, uh, We'll have all that ready so when we get the fire going, you can just cook it real quick and then your fire is done because it's hot. You don't really need a fire today and the smoke left over when it's burning out will keep the bugs away for you. Because once it gets warm around here in Tennessee, bugs come out and sometimes, you know, your wife or whatever might not like the bugs as much. Well, that's one way to get rid of them is just let the smoke after you cook will get rid of them for you. Or if you have some birch or if you're in Florida, Maleluca, that'll keep the bugs away for sure both have oils in them that burn black smoke. So we're just going to cook some noodles, beans, we got some fish, we're going to cook some fish up. Um, it's actually some mackerel from Florida that I brought out here trying to eat it all up. And uh, like I said, if you catch some here, you can just flay them up and eat them right here if that's what you do. So we'll go ahead and uh, get all this cooked up and just kind of give you a little lazy video of us having a boat camping trip here. Okay, when you're cooking fish, you're going to want to get yourself some oil. Okay, you don't need much, just enough to keep her off the bottom from sticking and such. And then what I'll do is toss a little lemon pepper in there. Okay, season the bottom. All the all the flavor will go into your fish. And then uh, whatever other seasonings you like, this is just a barbecue seasoning. I like the mixture of this and lemon pepper. Lemon pepper is a must when you cook fish, unless you don't like it, I guess. Okay, so once you get that all seasoned up, let that oil get all over. Put some seasonings you in there, and then you just take your fish, plop your fish in. This needs a little bit more defrost time, not much though. It's already almost there. And uh, we'll start, we'll get that ready and start cooking that up. Okay, if you can set yourself up something like this, where you got a nice flat rock here, a couple here where you can just lay some wet logs. I got them soaking in the water so that way they don't burn. And uh, I always carry a chunk of fat wood in that ear hide drawstring pouch I made. You saw that video. So I always have a huge chunk like this one. This one's beautiful. This is the best piece of fat wood I've ever found. And get all that dirt off there. And you just make yourself a nice pile of that. That's, to me, the easiest way to get a fire going. And the most convenient because you don't have to carry a bunch of you know paper or anything with you you just take a few shavings of this you don't always have to use your ferro rod you can use a lighter this stuff lights super easy with a lighter one little flick and you got flame and it gives you enough flame to get your fire going so we're just going to start ourselves a quick little fire here this fat wood so full of resin that I just cut nice good curls like that. 
Pick them off by tool because this knife is super skinny and sharp. Works great for cutting little curls. See how that curls off like that? That's perfect for getting fire going. Okay, once you get everything going, get your fish defrosted like that. Just take them, rub it around in all your oil, your seasonings. Okay, get it good and worked up in there. I like to have that nice flavor in there and keep that oil. And then place it here until we get to the point where this fire's got good old coals and then we're going to place our grate on there. Okay, you can see there now I got that grate set up. All them sticks are nice and soaking wet so they won't burn on me. And that fish will cook up no time. You don't have to cook fish long. You know, about two minutes on a side. On a fire like this, that thing's already warm. Two minutes on each side and it's cooked because mackerel is, you know, it's only that thick. It's not a thick fish. You don't want to overcook it. Once it starts to fall apart, it's done. Okay, so we got our water starting to heat up and everything. You can see it's got some some bubbles going on in there. Got our beans over there cooking. So we're set. And then once the fish is done, we'll put our, uh, our noodles in there and get them cooked up. Once you get your fish done and everything, just put them on a separate plate. If you have some tin foil, you can put some tin foil over it. I forgot some, so I'm just going to leave it right here, and that's going to keep it warm for me. And then we'll just finish cooking these noodles up. Had to add new logs on my grate because they obviously burn after a while. Water's boiling. We pull that off. Beans are always cooked. You don't have to cook them too long. You need them cold if you want. And then uh, we got ourselves a quick meal. Didn't take too long. Nice hot fire, cook everything up real quick. And that's that everyone. Another meal cooked. Real simple. Fish, fish cooks quick, defrosts quick, so if you bring it out here frozen, it takes all of 10 minutes of leaving it in the sun and it's defrosted, throw it in the pot, and that'll do the rest for you. Just those little tricks and stuff cook it quick, prep it first, get your fire going. We used a bundle of firewood that big I brought from home so I didn't have to go searching for wood out here. It's literally pull the boat up, cook it, and you're off fishing after that, which is what we're going to go do after this. We came here first, it was lunchtime, figured we'd cook some lunch up and then uh, go out there and catch a few fish. Cleanup's always a breeze. Get down to some sand. Scrub it. Rinse. Not going to hurt stainless steel any. Get that soot like this on your containers. Just take some sand. Rocks, whatever there is right here. Works better than steel wool. <laughs> 